What is going on everybody? Today I have a very special keyboard lighting video for you guys. I actually figured out how you can spell words or short phrases with your keyboard lighting. Because tomorrow is Mother's Day, I'm going to write my mom a short little phrase to kind of tell her Happy Mother's Day. So that's what this video is going to be about. If you like the video guys, please hit that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell icon. That way you guys get notifications as soon as I upload new keyboard lighting videos. All right guys, we're gonna get right into it. All right, so with this keyboard lighting trick, spelling words and such, you can actually do it over the top of current designs you already have. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in I love you mom so I'm gonna have all the letters to I love you mom light up in sequence so that it spells out the phrase I love you mom so to begin this what you want to do is you want to add in as many waves as you have letters or spaces so I space L O V E space Y O U space M O M. It seems like a lot of wave layers, but trust me, you're going to need it to get this effect to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to rename my wave layers to the letters that I'm going to be using just to organize it a little bit. So I'm going to start from this wave layer right here and I'm going to rename this to I. That's going to be a space. I'll put an underscore. Okay, so now you can see I've renamed my wave layers I underscore. For renaming, you can't rename the same layer the same word. So I just use double, a double underscore and a triple underscore to rename. So same thing with the O's. Uh, I, I'm going to reuse O several times. So I just did a single O, double O, and a triple O here. So beginning with I, we're going to go ahead and select our I wave. And we're going to click on the I key. Come up here to your drop down and you're going to want to choose a three tone wave and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add a wave node to it <clears throat> actually the very first wave you can take this node off and so you just have three here so your far right nodes um, you're going to want to press all these nodes all the way to the right and your far right two nodes are going to be whatever color it is you want the key to light up with so I made these far right nodes pink and I'm gonna make the one on the left invisible making it invisible allows you to see the design that's underneath these keys so that you can have a design going on in the background along with your uh, your phrase or words everything's good you can click off of that change your speed down to about four if you have an excessively long phrase like you you have something that's got a lot of letters you might be able to make it work by increasing your width percentage here all the way up and lowering your speed down uh, it just allows a lot more room in the wave for you to fit more stuff in you go ahead and give that a test I recommend not going over 10 characters or so. So once you change your speed down to four, I'm gonna leave it at 100% and I'm just gonna hit save. Before we move on, we wanna make sure that we click on this key and control C to copy it. That way we're copy copying the pattern. Go ahead and click into your next, whatever your next space is. And for the spaces, it's really just kind of a placeholder so that it, sets you up with a little pause between your words so I'm gonna click on this space I'm gonna click on the space bar and I'm gonna control V to paste in that pattern and all this does is so now what we're gonna do with our second letter here is we're gonna add in a node and you're gonna from now on you're gonna have four nodes for all of your letters and for each letter that you go to you're gonna want to add a node and add it to the end and you're gonna want to delete the far right one so right now we just have four nodes uh, the two on the very end so the far right node and the far left node you're gonna want those to be invisible and the ones in the middle you want to have your light 
whatever light or whatever color that you're using to light up your keys. So for the spaces, you want those to stay invisible. So we're gonna make this invisible, this invisible. So they're all invisible, all right? And hit save. And really, that's just a placeholder. Click on that space bar, copy it, and we're gonna move on to L. We're gonna paste that L in there. So as you can see, after you hit paste, it sh saves where your node positions are. So like I said before, go ahead and add one and add it to the end and delete the far right one. Outsides are gonna stay invisible. Insides are gonna be pink. Just like that. That looks good. Stays on four, hit save. And that's it. And I'm gonna click on L, copy it, go to O, make sure I click on the O key here and hit paste. So we're gonna click on this gradient drop down, add a node, slide that over, delete the far right one, make make sure the outside two are invisible, make the two inside, whatever color you're using, and hit save. That looks good. I'm gonna copy the O, control C. I'm gonna click on my V layer over here on the left, highlight my V key, paste it, click on these nodes, add a node, slide that over, delete the far right one, make the two outside ones invisible, two inside ones your color of choice, everything else stays the same, and hit save. And that's all there is to it. You just keep doing this until you spell your entire phrase or word. All right, guys, so I just finished inputting all of my letter designs for each letter of the small phrase that I have. It now spells, I love you, mom, out on your Razor keyboard with your keyboard lighting. guys so much for watching this keyboard lighting video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and the notification icon that way you guys know as soon as I upload new videos in the description below there will be a Dropbox link of this design that I just made just in case you guys want to use it and show your mom that's gonna do it for me thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next one